All right, so right now I'm in the middle of converting an oil bath air cleaner uh, to take a regular air filter. The oil bath air cleaner will um, sit in oil and then it has a fiber element like this to help filter it. And so this is kind of worn out by today's standards. So what we did was to take a cartridge like this to be able to accept a filter. Um, theoretically, what you could do is just take this apart and cut the lid off of this to, and then get the perfect size filter to fit in here if you could. Um, but, you know, we had some fitment issues. Um, plus, we already have a filter like this one that's a K&N uh, filter. So we didn't want to go out and buy another filter. So what we ended up doing is basically cutting this open and then we cut it down here um, and removed a strip and then we cut the bottom off as like going to be the plate to uh, smash it. So right here, here's the, the bottom piece similar to this. So this is what it would be on the inside. This is the fiber uh, that used to be inside. So then the filter will can sit right in here. and then go in there perfectly. And then this is the similar to the piece that was on the bottom. See it held to the, it used to be on the bottom of this right here. So we cut that off. And then that becomes the top to sandwich that between and seal off the filter. And this still has to be cleaned up. Like I gotta go in here and uh, clean up this uh, jagged metal. And then here's the top piece uh, cut off. And uh, again, that needs cleaned up a little bit still. And then there we go, it gives it just enough room to Go in there and probably got to center it a little bit better, but it gives it enough room to go in there and sandwich down. And then I can use the uh, newer style air filters. Um, the only other problem we ran into is the bottom of this has the holes, which uh, used to allow the, the airflow. See right there. So what we did was, is we made a, a plate. I'm going to go ahead and weld uh, around this edge and then around there and then that'll be a block off so then all the air will just uh, flow through the filter. We did, we experimented with a whole bunch of uh, stuff and you know this could easily be duplicated for someone else so and here's the you know the strip we cut out that was in the middle so I'm getting ready to weld uh, a block off plate on this. All right, well, I got this welded up, the bottom. Uh, this is probably this is probably only the third thing I've TIG welded. Um, it came out pretty decent. Like, I, I did a light test on it, and I sealed up any little pinhole. That was a problem. But uh, I was having some problem with warping. I think I'm just so used to MIG welding and, like, really taking my time that I try to rush the TIG weld. Um, but I'm not really stressing. This is... Uh, it's good practice. This will be on the inside and it seals good. So that'll go in there. I'm not gonna bother grinding the inside weld because the filter doesn't even sit on that. It sits on the edge of the, the ring. Eventually we could weld this ring into this too. I mean, it, it seals like perfectly against this. Um, but my dad doesn't want to mess up the patina on this right now. He doesn't want to repaint things. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, sit this in here. And then that'll uh, sandwich against that. And there we go. Just got to twist, the, twist that really good. It seals up not bad. And then that thing's in there tight. 
So yeah, right now he has an aftermarket uh, intake on the flathead and a two barrel carburetor. He's gonna go back to this like Stromberg style and uh, wanted to keep the original air cleaner. So we went ahead and uh, did that. The only other thing I was suggesting was uh, maybe cutting this horn down a little bit. Um, well, honestly, these engines are so gutless. I mean, that probably wouldn't even make any uh, any real performance gain. And uh, this, because of that, that's going to help low end torque some more, probably having that little bit of a velocity stack. So probably make more sense to keep it, uh, anyways. So we'll see. Something we can always cut off uh, later in the future.